Hey everybody, it's G, and welcome to the second week of November. This week I had the chance to fully embrace the color of the fall, had a lot of fun, so let's get started with the plan with me. So after I finish the details of the weekly formatting, I'm going straight to a new sticker pack I bought at Michael's for a dollar. Pretty happy with it. There's a cute little owl that I'm putting down, and I'm going to letter in November right underneath him as if he's sitting on a little branch. Next I'm going to put in a sticker for the menu header. I'm using a leftover wood pattern from last week. I'm glad I saved this tiny scrap. Comes in handy. For breakfast I'm having apple pie fridge oats again and I'm literally putting a pie down in an apple. I just thought it would be kind of funny. And I'm having pumpkin lasagna rolls. These are really good. I haven't had these for a while. They're really easy to make too. You can make them once and then freeze them. And then um, for the next meal, which is sweet potato street tacos, I didn't have anything to represent that so I just put down this little crow to talk about it, and then a fox to talk about the last item, which is a pita pizza party. These are Fit Girl classics. They're good go-tos when you really don't know what else to do, and they still taste pretty good. Then I'm going to put little dots around each of these to give it a little bit more sense of cohesion, and it fits with the sort of stitching look that these stickers have because there's nothing really related amongst all these stickers, so they need all the help they can get to look like a set. Now I'm putting down lettering for top three. There's a lot going on this week and a lot going on this month that's gonna move really fast and I'm trying to stay laser focused in the things that I need to do. So this will help me out. Now I'm going to do my exercise tracking, which I put this acorn down like early squirrel gets the nut, <laughs> thinking that'd be pretty motivating. And now it is time to pick up washi. I saw these in Michaels. They seem to match the color theme, earthy. So I was pretty happy finding them. And then I'm putting down my regular appointments that scheduled every week. This is a lot more vibrant than I usually do. There's a lot of color in this. It's a white space planner. It was just a little bit like, woo, it's a lot of color. But you know, I really liked it in the end. And then I have space for a quote here. I saw this when I was walking through the grocery store in the magnet they were trying to sell. And I thought, I'm just going to remember that and write it down in my planner. I think it's just a nice thing to remember for yourself. Who else are you going to be? You can only be who you are. So I didn't put the author because it's attributed to Oscar Wilde, but I don't think that's accurate, at least according to the internet. And I'm going to put in the sunflower for a nice bright weekend banner to keep me positive even though I have to work on Saturday. I never can think of anything super smart to write down. And then I'm trying a new tracker instead of water. I'm trying to track that I power down at the same time every evening and stop doing screen time. So I'm writing another reminder here with washi. Kind of a night owl, so if I work with screens and I stay up too late. And then I'm just finishing the details of the ribbon, putting in some stitching, and that's this week's spread. I hope you found some tips for your own planning and I hope you have a positive and productive week. Thanks for watching.